Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Logic Pro X has just been updated to Logic Pro X 10.4. Now I did want to show you all the new features live in 10.4, but for whatever reason, my Logic is not updating. The App Store is not letting me download the update. Super frustrated, want to show you what's new. So I figured, you know what, let's do a quick video and a quick general overview of what's new in 10.4. So let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start off with the new plugins that 10.4 comes with. And here they are. The first new plugin is Chromaverb. I guess it's a, another reverb plugin that is, I'm assuming it's modeled off of the Space Designer. I won't know until I actually get to use it, but this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. The next set of plugins you get are a bunch of vintage EQ plugins that are essentially EQs that are modeled after popular analog hardware EQs. I'm sure you'll get a couple of them. You get some graphic ones. Maybe you'll get like a Neve modeled one. I'm not sure. Uh, the next plugins you get is the fat effects and what it does is well, it's in the name of the plugin. It makes your sounds nice and fat. And last, the new plugin that 10.4 adds into Logic is the Step Effects plugin. Now, I heard a couple demos on this plugin. It's not quite the plugin that I was wishing for. I was kind of hoping for like a gross beat type plugin in Logic. This is not going to be it, but it still looks to be cool. And we're going to see if it sounds cool once I get my Logic updated. Let's just learn more about the plugins and see if they uh, dive deeper in here. So I should mention Alchemy does get a bunch of new presets that are added to its sound library. So you can find those once you update to 10.4. We also get a new set of orchestral instruments, one the studio strings and two the studio brass. So I'm assuming this is just a new smart control GUI that we can adjust our sounds to make them unique to our own. Uh, let's scroll down, see if they break down the new EQ plugins. All right, so here is the Chroma Verb. It looks really cool. Uh, I'm sure it is along the lines of the Space Designer, but maybe a little bit different. I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can demo how it sounds. All right, that reverb does sound really nice and I'm super excited to use it. Uh, oh, here is the vintage collections and what we're getting included. So it looks like we're getting four EQs, we, or sorry, three EQs, I can't count. We get a graphic EQ, a tube EQ, and a console EQ, and those are how they look like. Here is the step effects plugin, and uh, let's go ahead and demo and see what it does or sounds like. So not quite that gross beat plugin I was hoping for. Uh, here is the fat effects plugin. And like we said, it just sort of distorts your sound and makes it nice and fat. Uh, let's hear how it sounds on Binary Star. So we'll look more into that and how it adapts to the real world and on your sounds to see how we can get it nice and fat. I'm wondering if we put this on a nice 808, if we'll get a nice punchy 808, but that is to be determined. Uh, whoa, here is Space Designer right here. Looks like it gets a new look and uh, a new feel. I use Space Designer all the time, so I guess they're matching the new Chroma Verb. Uh, pretty cool, excited to see that as well. I don't believe there is anything else that is new. Oh, by the way, Mellotron, you can now use it as a individual plugin. You don't have to pull up one of its sounds. You can just pull up the plugin and you can use it from there, which is pretty cool. You also get a, I believe, two new drummers to add to your drummers library. Now, personally, I don't use drummers. I kind of just create my own drum sounds. But if you're into that, you get two new drummers as well. And something else that is huge in Logic Pro that I kind of maybe saved the best for last is that it auto 
tempos to an audio file or as you record. Now, what does that mean? If you ever used Ableton Live, you can drag in an audio sample or audio loop and the session will sort of determine what the tempo is and it'll adapt to that. So Logic will now do that inherently you just drag in a loop drag in a sample and it will determine what the tempo is and it'll set your session to that what's also cool is you can actually sit down at logic and just sort of strum on the guitar and start recording start singing and it will sort of create a tempo map of what you're recording in real time which is super cool so here is the sort of the smart way to say it smart tempo automatically manages tempo across all your content in your project record freely without a click track now that is super cool if you're a singer or songwriter, you just whip out your guitar, start singing. You don't really have a tempo in mind. You don't want to record to a click track. Just start recording and it will record in that uh, that tempo map for you. And that saves you a lot of time tempo mapping your audio track to the actual tempo of the track. So let's see here. Oh, they have a little demo of it. Let's see that. All right, so as you can see right there, here is the tempo that it recorded in. He wasn't, whoever recorded this wasn't recording to a click track and uh, just tempo maps that for you so you don't have to do that. That will save a whole lot of time if you record a lot of live instruments. And that is pretty much Logic Pro X 10.4 in a nutshell. What's new? Again, I did want to show this all live in 10.4. But for some reason, my app store is not letting me download it. I'm not sure if the servers are overwhelmed right now with people downloading it, and I'm just sort of last in the line to get it. I'm not sure, but that is what's new in 10.4. If you guys have any questions on this or you just want to talk about it, let me know in the comments below. And I will be posting Logic Pro X 10.4 videos on the individual new items, so stay tuned for that. And as usual, guys, for more great videos, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.